people. Throat. First. Game on. Yeah, very much so, Dan. I've really enjoyed watching the first two games. And of everybody in the field, I think Dozer is probably more equipped to handle Dennis Nielsen than anybody because, as you can see, Dennis is quite deliberate on his 16. approach to the hockey in throwing his darts and retrieving them. So, for me, Dozer is in that sort of ilk as well. He's quite deliberate. So I think this will be... Uh, Slow-paced game. It'll give plenty of time for Glenn to breathe and do things at his own pace. Well, Dennis, he's put in a couple of mid-80s averages. The first one was good enough for a 6-0 cruise past Eric Hall, the host nation qualifier. The next one just got the job done against Johnny Clayton. It was a really good last leg that Dennis put in. Last leg decider, but he still had to survive a match dart from the ferry. He might have to raise it against Dozer here. Although, Darren wasn't massively impressive, it has to be said, in the first round. He, he did go on social media and say it's a win, but... 140. Then he just left it, but it was implied that it just wasn't very good. It was only an 89 average. You should have seen him when he was walking through the practice room after that victory against Alex Merckx. He was... Furious. He was walking mm. through, mm. kicking the carpet, saying what wasn't good enough, that was rubbish. And it just goes to show the standards he lives by. And he knows that playing like that in the first round is not going to get him too much further. But apparently playing not, nothing at all gets him through to the round three. So wow. things swinging roundabouts. 72 left. He's not really a double-double kind of guy, is Glenn. He mm, likes to go for the open 61. trebles. That was an excellent 25 to leave double 18. Dennis needs double nine. 52. And invites Glenn, Glenn in. 14. Cannot afford to do that early and let him settle. Yeah, 13 the first data, Glenn break of throw. Glenn Durant goes into the Same lead. Now, Dennis Jake. is a guy who... Well, he's been around for quite a while, actually. Dennis Nielsen. But... He has played WDF and, and BDO 96. stuff. Made it to the lakeside, 2018. Which was, of course, one of the years that Glenn won the BDO world title. Didn't play Glenn in that tournament. 100. Uh, he went out in the first round, losing to Glenn's good mate, Jim Williams. But he did push him close. You were there for that tournament, weren't you? Yeah. I've, on it. I've, uh, I've been to all of Glenn's Lakeside victories. Never been to a Lakeside where he didn't 140. win. 140. There's Kyle. Sticking around all weekend to support friends, and he is very close with Glenn. But, yeah, Dennis played there a couple of times. He... Got done by Jim Williams. 60. He also got done by Ryan Joyce the year before in a prelim. He didn't play that poorly, but Ryan Joyce was excellent. He's been gaining experience over the last couple of seasons, and he's gradually becoming a better player for me. And like I was saying yesterday, when he was playing against Johnny Clayton, he is looking to lose a bit of poundage. He wants to be, in his words, a bit faster. One hundred. Wants to be a bit more svelte to make himself better equipped for days like this. Well, Dennis Nelson with the maximum gets him to a checkout. 100. And he should require 161. Good pressure that from Glenn. Forces him to take it because you can't see Glenn missing the 70 the way he's been playing lately. 60. It's interesting he didn't go for the bullet 25 there. That's the, the modern way of leaving a two-darter. And he's left a three-darter. Might not even matter because he's got double eight, Glenn Durant. Sixty-two. So now the point is, if he hit 25 and he's got 96, he's going to give himself the chance of two-darter double. Here he can only get one maximum. 
He's going to get a shot at double 18. Easy and he misses three. it again. Then you're right, Dennis Nielsen eight. could be 2 0 up in this one. But as it stands. He's 2 0 down. Glenn Durant. Glenn Durant taking his Glenn chances, Dennis, and that's two, what Glenn first. Durant does. Game on. Don't win the Hall of Titles that Glenn Durant has without being able to step in and capitalise on mistakes like that. And he One can blow you away, does he? I mean, he blew Michael Van Gogh away, won 7 2 in their semi final as he went to claim the title. Beat Darius Labanowskis, the top player from Lithuania in the final of the 15th Players' Championship event of the year. As you know, Dan, I like to keep league tables on all sorts of different things, and I think Ricky Evans has just been promoted to the Champions League spots of walk-ons. Right, yes. 42. And I think the current holder of the shiniest shoes on the tour is Glenn Durant. Ah, OK. Yeah, I was, I was unaware that uh, it was a competitive... Oh, yeah. Title that, but no, fair enough. Uh, Kevin Painter was eliminated from that league table as he no longer holds a tour company. Mm -hmm. He did win a tournament yesterday, so well done to Kevin Painter for that. He's on his way back. But Shiny Shoe Premier League, that is definitely fronted by Glenn Durant. Um, we have, of course, got the Hall of Famer in that league, Pat O'Reel. Remember his shoes? No, I really don't. The patented leather, they were shinier than your head when you put it in the shine or ball or. Bit old school as Glenn. He's not into the whole shoe trainer thing. He wears traditional shiny smart shoes. Well, it's a smart leg of darts. This. Oh, that's unfortunate. And that's just a bit careless as Dennis Nielsen gives a cold death stare at that dart that had the temerity to fall out the board. But does her? Pins Game double 18 for, for a 10 dart leg. Over Glenn to throw first. Game on. He fancies this, does Glenn Durant. Well, already, Duzza is looking sharper than he did in the opening round. Had the day off yesterday, of course, because of James Wade withdrawing late in the tournament for the second time on the Euro Tour this year. So, there'll be a... a financial penalty along with that but more importantly Please Glenn Durant has a massive financial incentive because it's three grand for reaching this stage of the tournament and the money starts to go up and go up rapidly if you go on in these final days and does a, even though this is a first time in a final day on the Euro Tour for him it's not like he doesn't have experience of playing long days in, you know, I mean, the WDF and BDO system, the number of times where he's gone and won, you know, they'll do the, the two tournaments over a weekend and he'll just go and hoover up the titles. Yeah, he's very good at playing all days, Glenn. That's why he's got into the Players' Championship stuff One very hundred. easily. This is a slightly different animal, the European Tour. This is a, a potentially long day, but you've got to play two days before it with just one game in it so it's a, it's a little bit different 60 yeah, and there will be you know th there's a the crowd will get more and more significant as the day goes on if yesterday he was a, a guide I mean by the time we reached the evening session last night it was absolutely bouncing but there will be there was, there's more adrenaline highs and lows with playing 60. big stage darts in front of big crowds isn't it there is and of course when you haven't had success on the European tour before you have that initial, I haven't crossed the line here 16. yet, and there's an adrenaline spike with that. But the amount of experience that Glenn has, you've got to think he's a huge threat today. He has, of course, won a big event in the Netherlands. I find a Masters. 100. Yeah. 2015, 2016, and 2018. Never won the Dutch Open. No, he didn't. McGeady won that a couple of times. Martin Adams is very good at the Dutch Open. 44. Well, that is probably one of the hardest tournaments in the world to win. Okay. At least 79. Double 11. 
misses 74. inside and you just wonder with Dennis Nielsen not on a finish do you prefer treble 13 in that instance because it gives you darts at tops I know that if you only hit the single then you've got to waste another dart getting to a double whereas 100 well, yeah, potentially at any rate I totally see your point there and it was a very aggressive dart at double 11 he could have easily just gone for the left wire but now he's got double four and all of what you've just Linda. mentioned is almost out the window. There's a show of aggression Dennis there from Dozer. Game on. I think he's in the mood today. Backstage, I saw him do a couple of Durin shuffles that we haven't seen on the Euro Tour yet. Yeah, so I don't think we have seen it, have we? When he gets the right finish, and the best one he's ever done was at Lakeside. He, he had a 170 check out. He gave it the full you know, double Dozer shuffle, and he pointed to the board with two fingers and went, come on. That's what we want to see. That's probably what he'll do if he wins this title today. 100. Well, Dennis Nielsen, when he walked on stage, he seemed to be chuntering away to himself just as he was taking the step. I mean, he doesn't, he doesn't do anything 100. without at least a faint hint of menace, Dennis Nielsen. But he looked to be quite sort of serious and in the zone during his walk-on and then it's just not really materialised in this game for him. The two misses in the first leg, a miss in the second leg and then it's he's sort of faded and maybe he thinks that this is just beyond him at the minute because Glenn Durrant is averaging 102. 16. Yeah, I don't see Dennis Nielsen living with anybody who's averaging 102 at the minute. I think he's a good player but I think he is still to find that next level. Mm. Well, again, we have seen the Nordic and Baltic qualifiers punching above their weight all the way through the European Tour since their introduction. Now look at what Darius Labanouskas, like, who you mentioned earlier, look at what he's done from being Nordic and Baltic only to now being Torquard Holder. He is now a, a really, really big threat when you go to tournaments. 96 left for Glenn. This is for... A 1-2-1. One, one. We might see a shuffle if he hits this one. Team Sean and fifth leg. Glendo. Teasing us. Well, he loves fifth that double 18. Two, and Game. to have a double upon which you can rely in clutch moments, like Mensor has the double 14. That double 18 is such a weapon to have in your arsenal. One That's quite the eclectic mix of legs, though, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. But the, the key thing is, look at those. One, three, and five, all on the Nielsen throw. 45. He's on 13, 10, 12. That's three legs in 35 darts. That's sort of 130 average on the Nielsen throw. He is forcing him to hit great, great legs just to hold throw. And 60. you do that, you hit somebody early, particularly in a, a first to six game. And quite frankly, it's going to have to be astonishing just to be able to keep in touch. Or you've got to hit back on on Dozer's legs, which haven't been as impressive, 99. but Nielsen just hasn't been able to challenge enough. Well, someone on social media yesterday had the audacity to say that Glenn's possible route to the quarterfinal was the easiest in history because he had a bye yesterday and he had a home nation qualifier on Friday and Whoa. Dennis Nielsen today. Well, Glenn's making it look easy, but it's anything but. Well, look, the thing is, with the way that Glenn Durrant has played, Ever since he came into the PDC, then quite frankly, it doesn't matter who's in his way. He's got a very realistic chance of beating them because this could be a 6-0 whitewash after back-to-back 6-5 wins to start the final day of the Dutch Darts Masters. Glenn Durrant is going to leave himself three match darts for a 6-0 whitewash of the big Swede, Dennis Nielsen. Yeah, powerhouse performance from the Middlesbrough man. And as I like to say, his nickname, it's one of those moments when you hit the double 16, you just go, That's not bad, actually. All right. I'll give you that. Would Len Darren give himself this? Double four. Well, he's generally thinking about busting it there, I think. But he doesn't need to do that because he ends it with a 15 data and Glenn Duran has smashed the 100 mark in the averages. Look at that.